Start uh, five frames into the block. We have a new pattern, new day, Scorpion. I, I don't even, I would tell you how long this pattern is. No idea. I believe it's 40, like 1 or 42. 41.2. That makes sense. Starting off with the tour dynamics, a little different choice, but I kind of felt like they're a little fresh sound lane, and this ball doesn't have a whole lot of dip, so it's a little slower off the end of the pattern. That's why I was going with it on the fresh. Um, Through four out of five good ones. <laughs> Fourth frame I split really wasn't that I mean it wasn't that bad as far as target goes. I just got a little forward and a little firm and paid a really bad price for it. So anyway, but we're doing okay. I think scores are gonna be lower today, but I see a lot of five baggers early. So <laughs> I hope this is not another 240 average day. But if it is, we just gotta put our striking shoes on. Again. I know I didn't quite get all of that, but that's because we were just sitting there like cracking up over what happened, but that four spare was, I think, in agreement by pretty much everybody, the craziest four spare I've ever seen. The front bucket with the 710. He got two off the right, and then it bounced out, and then he got the two off the left on the first shot. And every single person around us had their camera out because that was just too amazing of what happened. But if that's what we're in store for today, we got some silly things coming. <laughs> Something you gotta do out here, you probably heard it say, is you know, we're always changing balls. Second game, I shot 238 with the uh, core dynamics and immediately changed balls to uh, attention star. We talk about this in our membership a lot and we talk about this just in our instructional videos, but the game's about transition and you have to stay ahead of the transition. And typically the person that does that the best wins. Out here, it's even more cutthroat. Like, you know, in an eight gamer, you might have a little more frames of leeway to like figure out balls, but you gotta figure out balls quick here. You can't be giving away five or six frames. So always trying to stay ahead of it. Attention star looked good that game. It didn't look great. I did get a little lucky. Uh, we had a couple <laughs> hits. Did you get any of those hits? I got the first one in the 10th for sure. You got the first one? one. The, the second, the ninth frame was a scout, like a light scout that hit the 6'10". Like it was great. But uh, we'll take it. Hopefully this attention star rolls better on this pair. 
we can pop up a good one. If not, back to the drawing board. But 112 over, looking good. is whether we move two or four. I think two's gonna be a nine pin and four might be a light tickler, so I'm playing the light tickler. Oh, this is the PBA tool. We always double the twos. Right. right. It's not a question, it's four. or like the pain didn't get to a level that was hard to get to, which was almost surprising because I'm used to fade right now. I'm like, oh God, don't do anything crazy. And then it, it, it was good, so. But I, I, I just felt it in here, you know, a little bit down my leg and into the quad, but then it, the last few games, it, it went away. So it's kind of going in at the beginning, just getting a sense of what it's like. And holy cow, this is better, way better than when you hopped on the table at uh, 8 09 this morning. Like, it's, it's a different animal. Really? You're going to want a close-up of my face if the pain is not to the end right now. That's not too bad. This hurts me a lot more than it hurts him. Getting through all this rigid tissue, this tight, taut Maya fascia, which we're trying to neuromodulate tone. We're trying to chill this tissue out so he can maximize his mobility and optimize his performance and recruit his muscles in the way in which they were intended to be used to make him as stable and as strong as possible so he could sustain the imposed demands of a block of bowling, be that five games, eight games, 12 games, whatever it is. And I think we, as a team, Kyle, came up with a, uh, a new handy little drill or something that we could do that doesn't take much time, right? Yeah. What was that? Watch out. Which one's that? You were telling me, you're like, man, you know, after a game or two, it's starting to feel real tight and stiff. Oh, the couch, the couch stretch? So we went over yeah, couch that stretch. that one was so, game changer, dude. So we'll illustrate that and show you how 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there can really provide 10, 15, 20 minutes of long-lasting relief. So it's not something that you're going to have to be bogged down doing for minutes or half an hour on end. Like I say, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there, just maybe two to six times an hour will do the trick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead while breathing, drive. Good. Good. Keep pulling another two seconds. One, and exhale. Shh. Exhale, relax. Good. That was good. That was a really good stretch. You to meet belly to belly. You relaxed your head on your side. Roll you to meet belly to belly. 
Wow. wow. We got like four of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to show you that last one. Attaboy. I hope you guys could hear that. Too. Okay. <laughs> Good. Tight core. Two more, and then we'll do ten the other way, and then we're free. Pail off press. Anti rotation exercise. One, two, three. And probably just the last 50%. You don't have to go full range. That's good. Two, three. Yep, and then still articulate one segment at a time down. That's plenty, dude. And then come down one at a time. And then rebridge. Oh, come up and then go. There's one, two. Stay up tight. Okay. Yeah, dude. That's playing. He's showing off now. Uh, all right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the what it takes for me to keep bowling out here on tour. Now, I've talked to you guys a lot with uh, Fast Track Physio. Paul here is the man behind it. Hey, Paul. Oh, man. Kyle. Um, so, Paul, what's a little He's bit of... He's the man. I'm his guy. No, He's dude. the hero of the story. <laughs> listen, I've listened... I've talked to a lot of doctors and a lot of people within the industry of, you know, trying to help my issues. And, dude, Paul's been the biggest help I've had yet as far as looking at things a different way, game planning, and uh, assessing my needs directly, which has been, like, the big, big help. He doesn't just look at me and give me a couple generic things to do and say, all right, try those. It's actually diving deep into what my specific issue is and creating a game plan. And I've definitely gotten better. I mean, we're still going. So, <laughs> But uh, what's a little bit of your background about how you got into this and what you do now? Yeah, 100%. So I've been practicing physical therapy, orthopedic and sports, sports medicine physical therapy for 27 years. I'm also a certified strength and conditioning specialist, and I'm also a certified performance specialist um, and I'm that's all framed in the background of the fact that uh, I really enjoy bowling and I've just been a, a semi-competitive bowler since uh, high school so you guys will see a lot more of Paul because uh, this man's been helping me out and I'm gonna keep him around for as long as I can so anyway we'll see some more of Paul thank you I hope you just gave me the 200 over adjustment let's hope cool for bowling <laughs> I so. think that was the 238 adjustment. We'll see how the next block goes. <laughs> Let's go. I'll take I, it. I make suggestions, he makes decisions. <laughs> yeah.
Well, we bounced back. We shot a 150 the first game. It was just god awful. I threw it terrible. The ball I chose to throw, this attention star, might have been a little quick for the fresh. But honestly, I felt like if I threw it good, I would have bowled better. But we bounced back. We had 230 the second game with an open in the 10th. Threw a bad shot. Really wanted that one as the uh, bounce back ability. And then the next game, we just shot 260. So we are like 50 over for the block now with a 150 start. So not bad. This is when the lanes are starting to get tricky, though. Um, they're getting tough. Ethan, who's an amazing bowler, is doing something that's like only possible if you're two-handed right now. Dennis, you're probably going to watch one of these shots, maybe this Phil shot here, and it's just like impossible to do that. So he's like, I don't know. I'm playing 23, and he's 15 left to me. Got to get in there, bro. Got to get in there, bro. So, but we're going to bowl good these next two games, realize that you know, they're going to be tough, and just see what we can do. Okay, sorry if I don't use my thumb. Oh, sorry, I don't strike on Cheetah. I strike on this. Sorry. 268 last game. Let's go call it, bitch. I opened the 10 for 2 0. Because when Thumbers miss left, they miss the head pin. Thumbers. Great. What's next? Left handers can't strike on this? <laughs> Look at the top 16. There's I don't like your guys... smile when you say that. <laughs> There's two guys that use a thumb. Who? EJ, and that's an anomaly. And I don't know who the other one is. Rasmus. Rasmus. Super forward and super play Steve. Good for him. I'm a, if he makes it to the show, I'm rooting for him. Everybody else. I love that. <laughs> Even though you have Kevin and Becky up there. Don't like, care. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Holy smokes. He said us one enders gotta stick together, bro. It's rough out here. Pretty soon we're gonna be extinct on tour. That's what the tour trials is, is to get rid of the one hander. <laughs> That's, That's the, the one hander trial. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of heatedness going on right now. These types of people right now. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. Like the lefties are killing it. Apparently the top seven are lefties. Well yeah. oh, hey, put some respect on Ethan. He's the only righty in the top seven. Oh, so what place is he? Fifth, I think. Fifth? So the top seven's not left handed. Correct. What about the top eight? What? Who's eighth place? Well, Ethan, Ethan's fifth. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, Rasmus? Rasmus. Yeah, Rasmus. Anyway, apparently the lefties have a bone. I mean, who cares? It just seems like the high road guys the ones that are right now. Like, it's all like high road It's just, so when they get to this point as a righty, you have to be two handed. Because. You have to throw it so slow and get steep, and you have to also get your hand around it that, like, unless your touch is just absolutely golden, you're going to come over. The, your thumb is going to hang up and come over the top of it. Like, almost no one-hander can bowl well when they're like that. It's just, it's a big advantage for doing it. We see it a lot. They also use the Brunswick machine, and you can tell, because that's how the lanes transition. You have to get so steep, separate them, 
And I guess you could try doing other things, but you're never going to be two-handers at this game. But, I mean, even that said, like, they're so easy the first three. You just got to change your game plan. Like, whack them the first three, grind out the next two games, try to shoot some two teens, and you can still have a 200 and something over block. Or you can shoot 150 your first game. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> when they're dead China. So, we, uh, we went 40 over tonight with a 150 and a 160. Wasn't great. But, uh, hey, it's the best my legs felt. I'm really happy about that. Woo! I was so happy I could cry. It was great. No pain. Tomorrow will probably be a completely different day. But today it was pretty good. So, that's it. We're done. We're going to get some sleep and game plan. Dude, Brad, all right, I'll buy you dinner if you can guess what bowl I built. So you already owe me dinner for me guessing the no, that was attention stuff. What's your third guess? You know, but here's the Bulls thing, though. Guess. You guys got to remember, I still got dinner for all of us. That's true. So, that's true. That's uh, sweet, uh, sweet master's money, baby. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that I haven't yeah. seen yet. <laughs> all that. TNT and Fuse. Yeah. Close. But no. A duo. No dinner. Duo. Duo. A duo? Yeah. <laughs> Oh what? my gosh! Do they have those on the? Dude, I'm just, I'm just eating food. Yeah, I know, right? It wasn't for you though. It was for Brad. That was the second, it was, it was, second it was, it guess. It was an open offer. These guys, second guess. No, 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 no. We, you we, in the comments, it was an open offer. We need, we need to settle this. Open offer it was a second guess. TNT Infuse was already ruled out. You might have said that. No one was saying that. It was obviously Brad just a really it. bad guess. It was a great guess. Uh, <laughs> it was actually a lot. It was like the closest guess you could get to a duo. All right, we gotta cut this before we get fired. We'll see you tomorrow.